Good day. Today we're going to learn how to identify geometric figures. Good stuff. Okay, the first thing we have to do is uh, we're going to have to download a zip file that contains all the pictures that, uh, from Mr. Woodfill's class. So we're going to go to Moodle and it's going to be called just uh, Geometry Pictures. Okay, so we're going to download that. All right, it's about 5.3 megs, so it takes a little bit. Okay. Uh, once we've got that downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, the pictures in GIMP. Actually, just one picture to start off. We're going to be doing a total of, mm, we'll say, three to five identifications, but uh, that's what we'll do. I'm just going to go ahead. I already have uh, the pictures downloaded, so we're going to open up one of those in GIMP. So. First of all, that uh, file that is called a zip file, it's a collection of files, that's going to be uh, in your downloads folder. So let's go ahead, and let's have GIMP open, file open, and what we're going to do is we're going to have to go to, for you, it's not going to be J Fleming, obviously. Uh, for me, it's going to be J Fleming. So J Fleming, then downloads, and then it's going to be called Geo Pictures. And we have, I believe, 11 different pictures we can look through. So you can see in the preview here, this is what they look like. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking one of these pictures, okay, uh, So uh, to identify. So I'm going to go ahead with this uh, easy one here. This is uh, what we call a triangle, okay? So let's open that up. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice is, oh, no, it's... Uh, Sideways, it's tilted. Not a problem, not a problem. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to first rotate this. Okay, so our rotate tool we've used before. Okay, right above our pencil. So let's rotate that so it is good to go. So let's go ahead, let's get that, uh, tilt that up. Actually, the angle and you'll be learning this is about 90 degrees. We want to set it like that. So now you notice, uh, again, like you see, we've got this alpha, we've got this transparency in the back end. Actually, the top is cut off. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead here to Image, and we're going to go to um, Fit Canvas to Layers. Okay, now that's not cut off. Okay, now we're in good shape. So that's nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our paths tool, our path tool, to identify the geometric figure. So let's go ahead here. Let's go to our path tool. Okay, now let's start our click, you know, right at the top of the figure. For this, since it's a triangle, it's going to go down like that. And let's just sort of adjust things a little bit. And then when you need to get at the end, when you need to bring it all together, you can either just bring that on top like there, like that, or, and this is where I'm going to do a control click on that fir first point. See how there's those rings now? I'm pressing my control button. Click. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to first pick a nice color. Okay, I'm going to, I like, I want a bright lime. I'm going to go with a bright lime green. That's what I'm going to go with. So let's click on OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead here where it says, not selection from path, but stroke path. Well, we could do it two different ways. Let's do first with stroke path, and then we'll do uh, selection with path, and we'll actually fill it in. Okay. So uh, well, let's do the stroke, yeah, stroke path first. So go ahead here to stroke path. And what I want to do is I want to change the width of my line. So make sure we have stroke line here. I put it to like 36. It's a pretty thick line, but it works. So then I click on stroke. And you can see it stroked that path. And what I'm going to do too is, I, just for fun, I'm going to do selection from path. It's going to put the answer on it. And if I wanted to, I could also like do a, I could fill in that image. So I can go ahead here, uh, let's change that to like a bluish sort of color. So if I wanted to, I could do this. Oh, with my buck, paint bucket, I'm going to make sure it's doing the whole selection. There you go. So I could do something like that if I wanted to. That's not necessary, that last step. 
Um, I'm just going to keep it just like that. So I'll do select none. And what I'll do then is I'm going to label this. So I'm going to go ahead here to my text tool, change that size. Hmm, I don't know. Let's try 40 to start off with. Uh, and then we'll just say triangle. Oh, that's way too small. Okay, let's go ahead here to maybe like 120 then. Let's see here. Try angle. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you're going to be doing a, a number of these. Okay, I'm going to have links for you, so if you, you're not sure what a item is, you'll be in good shape. Also, one thing, you know what? Let's also let's make an arrow here. Let's use our path tool. So let's point triangle. So what we'll do then? Whoops. Do click, click. Click. There we go. And we can do a stroke from path there then. Yeah. So let's change that. So there we go. So we just stroke uh, that path. Um, so then what we do is we just do a, a stroke path. Okay. And there we go. That's it.